Alright guys, let's continue. Alright. So now just make your way out here. I notice you're at the bottom already. And we are about to finish the second act of the game. I don't know if we'll be able to finish it in this part, but yeah, because these last couple missions are really, really long. But we'll see. We'll see where we are. Skull icon on the mini map. What you might have noticed from the cutscene, it's right here. Right under the statue of the mall. Five precursor words in this level. But first, the cutscene. Titan Jack, you actually found Mars too. Great. Now what? We send this poor kid into a meat grinder? This is the day I've long awaited to finally hold the fabled precursor stone. You must be cautious, child. The tests of manhood are sure to be fraught with peril, and Mars Air. Must face them alone. It's okay, kid. You can do it. It's just a deep pitch black shooter he built in the brim with Kangaroo's death. Oh, too. I don't care. Okay, so before you go down, just a couple of precursor words up here. Now you just want to go down, follow this pathway down. Now again, these are some pretty long missions, so this will probably take more than one part. But let's see. I forgot which test was first. I think it's this one. Yes, it's this one. Okay. Spiders. Fun. <laughs> you want to time these carefully. Because, yeah, the spikes come up alternating pretty much. Spiders along the path. I think they're called baby legs or something like that, which is silly because those spiders are like half the size of Jack and they're bigger than Daxter. So yeah, hit that button. Anyway, land on that. And then jump in here. There's another precursor orb. Time this right so that you land on the platforms as they're kind of coming closer. And swing 
between those bars. Yeah, you want to time it right. So that jump on the bars when they're closest to you. And then hit this button. Take this elevator down. And I'll take you right down there. Alright, I'll have to face a few spiders in here. They take one hit, so Scatter Gun will. Scatter Gun will take care of them and just walk up to this. This giant boulder looking thing. Dexter's gonna try and move it out of the way. Now you get to play as Dexter. <laughs> this is the only Dexter time in this game. Well, I guess technically there's another one. But I don't really consider it much of a Dexter time. So yeah, just make your way down. Be careful jumping over gaps and platforms. But, yeah. Out, you're gonna have some baby legs coming at you. Well, you have this giant spider, the Widowmaker, coming after you. Yeah, you don't wanna let him get too close to you, because. Oh, that was close. Yeah, he'll lunge at you a couple times. Alright, and then you get to this part. And then you're jumping on some spider webs and running up here. And he's getting a little close to me. I'm hoping I'm far enough away. Make your way up to the top here. A couple more platforms. And I just punch your way to the end there. Door closes, you're safe. And now you're playing as Jack. Just Jack, no Daxter. So yeah, you have Daxter running away from a giant spider. Also known as the Widowmaker. It's basically a giant black widow. I can totally skip that part. A couple of moon platforms here. Yeah. Oh crap. Come on. There we go. Just made it. Alright. Come through. There, hit this button. Alright. Get on this platform, take it down. Now there's going to be an enemy in the water here. I think they're called Water Watchers or something like that. But yeah, I come over here for the second test. Yeah, that was the end of the first test. So yeah, that was more strength based. That's what the second test is. Or the first test. This one is more smarts based. Alright, so you want to hit the ones with the red bellies. Alright. Come on. Alright, it's one of these two. I want to say this one. Oh, that was a lucky guess. It was either that one or the one just above it. Alright. So wait for the electric electricity to go out. Hit the circle button. Yeah, 
get any spiders that get in your way. Yeah, you can just jetboard across that, or you can do what we did in the first one and dive under the electricity. Uh, for this part, go for all the flashing ones and hit this button, it'll raise them back up. And each color has a different musical tone to it. I don't know what the purpose of it is, but yeah. Alright. I don't know why he punched. We should go down. There we go. Alright, now you get to the second beetle puzzle here. Now there's even more of them. Okay. That's, it can be hard to keep an eye on all three of them. Dang it. I know it's one of those two. It's hard to keep an eye on all three of them. Alright. Try jet boarding. Made it. Sweet. Now you come up to the second color tile puzzle. Alright, so that's step one. And there's three stages to this puzzle. We're on stage two. And chances are if you hit the wrong one, unless you can make it back to the beginning of that puzzle, then you're going to die, so... Oh, that stayed electric too long. It usually doesn't stay electric too... Wow! Unbelievable. That was pathetic. I got hit twice. And then once you get in here, your goal is to try and match the sounds. Ah, wrong one. Okay, it was that one. Sweet. Alright. And then we'll go down. You don't really have to worry about dying here. Oh, I heard that one. Which one was that? Nope. Okay, I heard that one before. That one was this one. Was it this one? Dang it! Man, I'm not doing well. Oh, that was a lucky guess. Okay, I've heard that one. There we go. Okay, I think that was this one. Yes. And that should be all of them. There we go. Just hit this button. Doors open up. Over the platform. Alright, I'm going into this with less health than ideal, but hopefully I can do it. I've done it without getting hit before, so oh, unless a water watcher spawns in front of me. Yeah, they just spawn randomly. 
So yeah, before you go in, there's precursor orbs behind that pillar. And this one. Okay, so we got three minutes left. Chances are we won't be able to finish this battle. But, we'll see. This can be a quick battle if you're fast. Yeah, just shoot those with your scattergun. They even give you scattergun ammo. Alright, now, I'm just gonna fire some bombs. You wanna kick them back at them. And it takes four to take out one bar of health. Right. Now for the second stage here. And for the first stage it's just alternating between those enemies and the bombs. The second stage. He's gonna fire his guns. Well, he tries to get the stone. Yeah, again, just kick the bombs back at him. Nice. We're doing well. Now we're in the third stage where he comes down and he'll start taking out big chunks of ground. And then he'll launch his guns. You can hide behind the pillars. Yeah, just go wherever the bombs are. Be ready to kick them back at them. That's two. Two more and he's done. That's four bombs per bar, as I said. So I knocked down a couple pillars here. That's not gonna get him on time. Alright, so he's taking out another chunk of ground. Yeah, I always duck jump, but yeah, you can do whatever you want. And then, there it is. Three, two, one, see ya.